Okay, I'm going to run through this problem fairly quickly, so you probably want to pause the video here and there to make sure you understand what's happening. Uh, we have this lifeguard at point A on a circular, circular pool with a diameter of 30 meters. We're told how fast that lifeguard can swim in the water and how fast he can run around the pool. And here's two different pictures of this angle theta where we're saying he could swim here, hop out of the pool and run to the drowning person. A couple of things to note is that the circumference of that pool is 30 pi. So for this semicircle, the top part would be 15 pi. And also that this is a right angle because that's an inscribed angle which intercepts a semicircle. An inscribed angle is half its intercepted arc. Okay, and just to uh, get a feel for what's going on, we're going to be using distance equals rate times time. We're told that the rate at which he swims is given by the variable v, and he runs three times as fast as he can swim. So if he swims the whole way, that means he's swimming 30 meters at a rate of V. Since distance equals rate times time, the time to swim is 30 divided by V. If we wanted to make up an example to see just how much time that would take, if he could swim 2 meters per second, which even uh, uh, Phelps didn't swim that fast when he was in the Olympics. I think he swam about 1.9. That would take him 15 seconds to swim to the drowning person. If he ran, runs the whole way, he's running 15 pi around that semicircle at a rate of 3v. And so the time for him to run is going to be 5 pi divided by v. And 5 pi divided, if we use the number 2 for his rate, is 7.8 seconds. So that's quite a bit faster. So it looks like maybe running the whole way is going to be what's happening. But let's see if we can come up with that function. The total time depending on this angle theta and V again is a constant. Okay, so as far as we'll call D sub 1 the distance that he swims to point B and then find the rate based on distance equals rate times time. In this right triangle, the cosine of theta is d sub 1 over 30, adjacent over hypotenuse. So d sub 1 is 30 cosine of theta. So that distance is equal to rate times time. So the time for him to swim to point B is 30 cosine theta divided by V. We'll call d sub 2 the distance that he runs from point B to C along the circumference of the circle. Well, since this angle theta is intercepting arc BC, D sub 2 must be twice that inscribed angle. So the measure of arc, I'm sorry, the measure of arc BC is twice theta. The distance is the fraction of the total circumference. So if this angle or if this measure of this arc is 2 theta, that's 2 theta over 2 pi is the fraction of the total circumference. And if you reduce that, you get 30 theta. So if we use distance equals rate times time, the time for him to run is 30 theta divided by 3v, which reduces to 10 theta over v. So there is a function for the time it takes him to get from A to C, where he swims part way to some point B, and then runs the rest of the way. Okay. Now, to actually find out if there's a point B that minimizes the time, we would pr find T prime of theta. Set it equal to zero to get the critical numbers. And I think if you do that, you'll find out that the T prime proves that T of theta actually uh, has 
a maximum value when he goes to point B. So he needs to actually run the whole way. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to show that. But I'll leave that to you. There you go. Hope that helped give you some ideas. If you have any questions, post a comment.